This is another sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. The Holy Bible and Quantum Physics. Luke chapter 17, verse 20. Now, when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, See here or see there, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Quantum entanglement is a physical phenomenon that occurs when a pair or group of particles is generated, interact or share spatial proximity in a way such that the quantum state of each particle of the pair or group cannot be described independently of the state of the others. According to some interpretations of quantum mechanics, the effect of one measurement occurs instantly. Three different research papers claim to have closed loopholes in 50-year-old experiments that demonstrate quantum entanglement proving its existence more definitively than ever before. Albert Einstein described quantum mechanics as spooky because of the instantaneousness of the apparent remote interaction between two entangled particles. Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Or, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in the universe, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in the universe. The Big Bang Theory is an effort to explain what happened at the very beginning of our universe. Discoveries in astronomy and physics have shown beyond a reasonable doubt that our universe did in fact have a beginning, so they say. Prior to that moment, there was nothing. During and after that moment, there was something, our universe. The Big Bang Theory is an effort to explain what happened during and after that moment. According to the standard theory, our universe sprang into existence as singularity around 13.7 billion years ago. What is a singularity and where does it come from? Well, to be honest, we don't know for sure. Our universe is thought to have begun as an extremely small, infinitely hot, infinitely dense something, a singularity. Where did it come from? We don't know. Why did it appear? We don't know. Or so they say, all of which is inside of an expanding universe that began as an infinitesimal singularity which appeared out of nowhere for reasons unknown. This is the Big Bang Theory. Genesis chapter 1 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, but it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, so the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, so the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. The Big Bang Theory John chapter 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. 
All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome or comprehend it. Again, in the beginning was the universe, and the universe was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome or comprehend it. The Holy Bible and Quantum Mechanics Quantum entanglement is a curious phenomenon that occurs when two particles remain connected even over large distances in such a way that actions be formed on one particle have an effect on the other. For instance, one particle might be spun in a clockwise direction. The result on the second particle would be an equal anti-clockwise spin. Things get really interesting when two electrons become entangled. They are perfectly correlated. When you observe one, the other one will always be opposite. That effect is instantaneous even if the other electron is at the other end of the galaxy. Spooky entanglement at a distance. Again, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Everything is connected. Singularities are zones which defy our current understanding of physics. They are thought to exist at the core of black holes. Black holes are areas of intense gravitational pressure. The pressure is thought to be so intense that finite matter is actually squished into infinite density. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 22 There is one who dwells above the circle of the earth. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 26 Lift up your eyes to heaven and see who has created these things. It is the one who brings out their army by number. He calls them all by name because of his vast dynamic energy and his awe-inspiring power. Not one of them is missing. After its initial appearance, it apparently or supposedly inflated. The Big Bang expanded and cooled, going from very, very small and very, very hot to the size and temperature of our current universe. It continues to expand and cool to this day, and we are inside of it, incredible creatures living on a unique planet, circling a beautiful star clustered together with several hundred billion other stars in a galaxy soaring through the cosmos, all of which is inside of an expanding universe that began as an extremely small singularity. So they say. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory, which none of the rulers of this age knew, for had they known, they would have not crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him, but God has revealed them to us through his Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what human knows the things of a human except the Spirit of the human which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received 
not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words which human wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Abba, Father, Amen. Everything is connected. And all these are more signs of the times.